nice. I'm gonna keep that for sure. I really like that. What's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. It's about 10 a.m. 0.3 today, just like yesterday. Uh, it is getting down to 0.1 this week, so it's gonna be pretty epic. Uh, I don't know much about what's happening with this sand here. Maybe it's dredging or something. Uh, but it seems to be just completely filled with sand on top just like yesterday But that is okay we'll Figure it out Let's get it right into it I decided to go straight over to the other side and we're over here it looks like I see two erosas here One really nice looking one Nice, that is actually really nice Look at all the uh, dead uh, seaweed over there, that's crazy I've never seen that much See the other one here that's really eroded. I'll probably leave that for somebody else. But I will keep that one. That's really nice. I'll probably put that on my top vines table, to be honest. That's very nice. Super, super flat again today. It's a beautiful day. Let's check out what else we can find here. So nice today. Not too many people here either. I thought it'd be way more because it is a Saturday and that's usually what happens. Do you want to look over here? A little bit more. All angles. Look at this, it's so flat. I did bring my snorkel gear today, so after this, I may go for a snorkel. Maybe. Got some sort of cone here. Actually, pretty nice. Shame it's a bit banged up. I'll leave it for someone else. Just looking over all these rocks, under and over. I saw somebody comment uh, on my recent video that I just put up. I can't believe you found you find rocks under. I mean shells under rocks. But yeah, we do. A lot of uh, really nice small shells come from all under these rocks. My friend found a Chinese cowrie under one once. He gave that to me. That's also in a recent video, but yeah, I'm gonna keep moving down this way. Pretty much got the beach to ourselves, so that's pretty cool. It's very surprising again, being a Saturday, but looks good. like it's a day for erosas. Got one down here. That's actually pretty nice too. As you can see, it's got uh, two different shades on it. That's really nice. I'm gonna keep that for sure. I really like that one. It's got a really nice shape as well. Anything here today? Nope. Got a little bonnet under here, waiting to be found. Nice arm. That's like the perfect example of a bonnet. Apart from that little piece, yeah, that's perfect. Got an operculum here. They're everywhere here. Usually leave them. Very nice though. I really like that. It's got a nice spire too. It's really tempting to go snorkeling today. I really might. It is a bit cold though, but that's all right. That's a very cool shot. Jeez. Looks like we've got a very nice scallop under here. Unless that's a hole. Ah, oh, it's a bit broken. But under that, I did see this little mitre. That's really nice. I found like three of these the last two days. This one's a bit worse condition, but I'm starting to like the little shells. So it's getting pretty hot, but I'm gonna search all under these shells because I haven't in quite a long time. So let's see what we can No find. idea what sort of carry this is. Oh, what the heck is this? It looks like a juvenile, uh... oh, that's really nice. Looks like a juvenile erosa because of the color. That's what I'd say it is. That's really nice. Got another calorie here, but it's just a common one, so we'll leave that. That's sick. I don't. I'm pretty positive it is. If so, if I'm wrong, comment down below. Juvenile curica. Did I say erosa or curica? I'm not sure, but that's. I'm pretty positive that's what it is. Very very nice. What else do we have around here? I definitely want to look under some of these rocks. Hmm. Seeing if I could scope out anything right now. Then I'll go over to my volute spot. 
spot a donkey. Nice. Oh, it's pretty damaged. Very damaged, actually. That's a real shame. It's a really nice color, too. I'll keep it, though. Hopefully, it'll survive home. The trip. Take a little peek in through here. See if I could scoop anything up. There's a moon now. Right. Look through here a little bit. Anything in there? Look if I can see. What's that? What was that? Is that a giant old turban? Yeah, it is, but it's really broken. That's a shame. I don't get many of these at all. So that would have been nice. Cool, cool, but I'll leave it. Look at this today, man. It's so beautiful. What's down here? Classic. Looks like we got a bonnet sitting down in here. Nice, checkered bonnet. Got a wash. Got a broken one there too. Don't see anything else down there. That's pretty nice too. Perfect specimen. Just needs a clean up. Alright, oh, let's keep moving. Alright, so we're right at the end of the rock. Uh, I haven't found too much along the way. Find this moon snail. There is a lot of uh, grit and stuff here. So there's maybe some small shells here. Nothing much there. It's such a nice day. Look at it. Cow reel of some sort. Looks just original. Yeah, it's just an original one. Got too many of them, I'll leave it. Check out this end rock here. We've been doing pretty well at this lately. Especially because it's so low. Is that another Arosa? Yeah, it's super eroded though. Yeah, I'll leave it. It's got nice colour on the bottom, but too worn for me. Is that a golf ball? That is indeed a golf ball. Yeah. Wow, look at that thing. What the heck has happened to it? That's insane. <laughs> Golfus ballius. Or Golfus ballus. Lol. That's funny. That thing is ruined. Uh, let's check it out here. Honestly, it looks flatter than yesterday. There's a blue cowrie. Please don't bite me, whatever's down there. Yeah, blue cowrie, very nice. That's sweet. Look at this. This is a harp shell that is alive. Uh, no, it's a partridge ton. That's epic. Yo, what? Check this out. That's so crazy. Check this out. Holy shit. 
That is a whole partridge tongue with a giant crab in it. My god, that is crazy. That is crazy looking. What? What are these? My goodness, that is crazy. out. It's about to break off. Let's just break it off real quick. Very nice. I like those. They're really nice colours. And we've got a pretty old looking, uh, what was it? Snakehead. Very old looking snakehead. But we're back at the volute spot. So we might as well check again. See if anything's been washed up. Big one. Nice, it's empty. There we go. Find of the day. Another textile. Epic. It is absolutely empty. Nice. That's a very rich colour. That's sweet. Lucky I came back. Don't know how I didn't see it earlier. Got another Erosa. Erosa heaven. Today. Give me that. Is it worth keeping? I think so. Absolutely. Check that out. The Rosa in a textile. Epic. Must have been so nice. Because when I came here earlier, that definitely was not there. Nothing in there. Stuff in here. As far as this bonnet I see sitting, waiting over, oh that's why, oh is that a crack? Yeah that's a crack, that's a real shame, that was really, that would have been a really nice size. It's probably about four inches, oh well, oh, I just broke some more, I didn't mean to throw it on that. <laughs> Anything down here? I don't get to visit down here much, this is why. I want to check what's in there. Give it a moment. Can I see anything? Can't see anything in the engine. I'll keep moving. We might have an Arabian in here. Nope. Pair of teeth. Damn. That's a real shame. That's kind of promising too. Alright, we're back at this little area where we first started off on this side. Hoping to take a bit of a look at some more angles, I guess. Under some more rocks. Look how dry it is up here. Oh. Classic little cat cone. Very common here. We get hundreds and hundreds, so I don't take them. What is that sort of cowrie? What the heck? Trying to be gentle. Wow. That's really nice colored. No idea what it is. I'll put the name up on screen. Oh. It's really nice. 
Very cool. All right, I'm going to look under some of these rocks right here, see what little carries I can find. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Obviously, the best find of the day was that textile cone here that we found right towards the end then. I hope I'm able to get a good shot. It's got some pretty nice colors. It does need a bit of a bleach stit, but I think it is pretty good. I really love my textiles. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out shellcade.com. Peace.